Mm. Um, we, we were just speaking about the um, the things that so if something's ever like hit you right, or like something uh, something that stuck with you. And when I first joined Instagram, I saw there was a, there was a um, there was an account that you know they post like writings and stuff, like just like little little quotes or little mm. uh, poems and stuff. And so this account, I don't know if it was a brother or sister, but he or she used to write poems and stuff, right? Just like little short ones, and. Um, they, they, over the years, there've been loads of quotes from uh, Quran, from various ahadith that have stuck with me. That have stuck with me. But there's this poem that when I, it, I think it was just because it was like one of the first times I saw something that really hit me. Whoever wrote it, may Allah reward them, because I don't think the Instagram page even exists anymore. But they don't know that they wrote something, and it, it, it helps, right? And so, if you look at my phone cover in the front of my phone, you can see that my um, the, you can see there that my it, can yeah. you read that? Yeah. Even if I have to crawl. Yeah, it says, even if I have to crawl. That's what it says, right? Yeah. And that makes no sense. But it reminds me of this poem Mm. that this person wrote. And I'll read you the poem. And it's an amazing poem to read when, as we all do, you commit a sin... Uh, and and definitely like the best thing to read when you're committed when you've committed this in and you want to increase your man of this is obviously Quran increasing your knowledge, mm-hmm. but it's a nice thing to read. Uh, you commit this in and you feel a bit hopeless, right? And this I found motivated me, and so I'll read the Jude poem. It says, "I'm falling back into the pit I was once taken away from. Painful memories have crept back in as my mind becomes numb. Restless is what I'm feeling as I find it hard to breathe. Tears fall down my cheeks." As if my skin has begun to seethe It was out of my own weakness That I have been consumed with so much pain I became lost in a delusion For my own worldly gain But I will make my way to him Even if I have to crawl Who else will find me a way out? Who else can I call? Forgiveness is what I seek As I now begin to plead For he is my protective friend When I am most in need And that Mm. was powerful to me man Mm. Like so many elements of it Because so he's split into three parts, his poem, mm. right? And the first is basically saying, I'm falling back into this pit that I was once taken away from, mm. which shows that like I'm going back to the, my old ways. And Allah was the one who took me away from it, right? But also what that first line does, I'm falling into a pit that I was once taken away from, mm. it shows you who really is the king, right? Allah. I, I'm saying I'm falling back into the pit. I'm the one who did it to myself. And I was once taken away from it. It was Allah who took me away from it. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm almost like you're owning the sin. Mm. And then I'm saying it was out of my own weakness that I've, be, I've, consu- I've become consumed so much pain. Because when you sin, Akhi, you, feel pe- you feel pain, man. And it's only because of myself. Because mm. of probably because I became del- deluded with the worldly gain. And then the last part of it just really hits me. Because what happens at the beginning, you're like, you, the beginning of the poem, you feel a bit depressed and sad. You're like, I'm falling back into the pit. And then you're like, oh, it's my fault. And the last bit, it says, but I will make my way to him, even if I have to crawl. To show you know what the next step is, no matter how hard, how hard it is, because now my iman might be low. Mm. Now I might not be able to do deeds that I found easy before because yeah. it's gonna be taken away. But even if I have to crawl, even if I can't make the hajjah today, if I can't make the sunnah of fajr, force it, man. I'm gonna even if I just before sunrise, but there's no way I'm missing for right. You gotta force it, even if you have to crawl. And and then at the end it says it gives you hope at the end because it says for He is my protective friend when I'm most in need, and that is what Allah is. And so I think the fact that that was written by some, as for my knowledge, that was just written by someone on Insta. But that hit me, man. And so mm. my phone cover says, even if I have to call, because it reminds me of that of that poem. Oh, that's powerful, bro. That's really nice, bro. I, I like the metaphors. I'll send it to you. I'll yeah, send yeah, it to yeah, you. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, guys. So uh, as I sent this poem to a friend of mine, um, he sent me back a poem that he really loves. And it's even better than the one that I've just uh, shown you guys in this video. So do check it out. And it's titled... The poem that made Imam Ahmed cry. And I'm going to show you a little preview here. And I'm going to leave the link in the bio. Guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It will take two seconds and makes a massive difference. Thank you. فكيف أجيب يا ويحي ومن ذا سوف يحميني أسل النفس بالآمال من حين إلى حين